Yeah, okay, let's do those. When you travel with the Foreign Office, you travel at speed. The Ukraine crisis means 21 meetings in four countries over four days. It's a 13-seater charter jet containing William Hague, diplomats, security men, and Sky News. First call, Moldova's foreign minister. The message, the UK supports your struggle with Russia. This is the most, the most amazing uh, unit in Moldova. Most amazing unit in Moldova. Several minutes later, Natasha. five minutes are set aside to visit a British Moldovan company. Bye. And then we're on the move. If you stray outside the bubble, it will go without you. Mr. Haig has written an article for a Moldovan paper. He'll do other local media, and he's aiming at two audiences. It is also because they are watching in Moscow, and we need them to know that we mean it about this, and that uh, there are there is a long-term price for Russia in, in violating the sovereignty of other nations. We land in Vienna, two-thirds of the way through a 15-hour day. In the morning, Foreign Secretary, a Council of Europe meeting. More messaging. And back to the airport, where the acting Ukrainian Foreign Minister, Andrei Gestesia, hitches a lift to Kiev. We've thrown somebody off. <laughs> Sorry to take you off. We have this camera is with us. That's easy. Sky television. Don't worry about that. Exactly. The two ministers seize the opportunity for some serious FaceTime. I think he's doing very, very well with multiple crises. A slightly comical moment. Mr. Destesia gets off, then, as protocol dictates, turns round and welcomes Mr. Haig to Ukraine. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> the bubble moves into Kiev. The Ukrainian acting prime yes, minister exactly. is in his own bubble. Well, the prime minister is is running five minutes late. For the first time in two days, things slow down. Prime Minister, I will greet the secretary for third time for today. Third time today. The next day, we pass the epicenter of the Ukrainian revolution. A reminder. This is serious stuff. We're not dealing with trivial things here. You know, we are dealing with the relationship between Russia and the Western world. We're dealing with the whole future of Ukraine. On to Georgia, a country where a lot of people have long names. Do you ever forget people's names? No, but again, I have the advantage. I've usually got a piece of paper in front of me with that name. <laughs> you have to be careful about how to pronounce people's names in many different... But this is basic diplomacy. This is what, if you're not sure, you get off the plane, the first thing you say to the ambassador is, just take me through all the pronunciations of the cities, the uh, titles, the, the names of the people I'm going to meet. We head into Tbilisi. It's another 15-hour day sprinting through a marathon. On day four, the last meeting is with the Georgian Prime Minister. The convoy includes the British Ambassador's Mini, complete with Union Jack. Where's the Mini? Where's the Mini, Lika? <laughs> Never mind, you'll be able to see it. You know that uh, I bought Mini uh, for Batum. Well, well, Prime Minister, thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you for spending the time and the nice meal and the, and the good wine. And, um, Same touch. Yeah, very, very great pleasure to see you again. One last formality before a five-hour flight home, which is still work. While we're on these sorts of trips, it's vital to keep up with the rest of the world. Um, you know, the, the rest of the world doesn't stop moving and breathing, doing the right things and the wrong things. And I, I read every day all of the, the diplomatic cables, the diplomatic telegrams, as, as we call them, from and all our embassies the I mean, around the world. How do you uh, cope with the tiredness? 
Well, you get yeah, everybody gets their own way of dealing with that. I'm quite good at sleeping, um, and uh, I generally take a bit of exercise every day just to keep myself going. Um, and the other thing is not to eat and drink too much, you know, not to eat and drink very much, actually, on these trips. You'll have seen today that uh, we had a brunch, a lunch with the um, Prime Minister of Georgia. We just had dinner last night with the Foreign Minister of Georgia. Before that, we had a lunch um, before we left Kiev. Um, you can, as a foreign minister, put on you know, you could just uh, eat. How are you? Good. On duty as usual. Did the weather while we're away? After landing in the UK, it was straight back to the Foreign Office under grey skies. He knows that in Ukraine, the temperature is rising. Tim Marshall, Sky News.